Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are making easy instant pot chicken fajitas. So my name is Kristen and I am the second oldest sister. Sister number two. Sister number two. <laughs> and I'm Kendra, I am the youngest, so I am sister number six. Now there are really six of us. We are yes. all sisters and no, we're not sister wives. We get no. a lot of questions about that. Just sisters. Just sisters. All sisters. <laughs> Awesome, so today we're making chicken fajitas. Now I love this recipe because it's a dump and go, guys. Yes. You're just gonna dump everything in, cook it, and you're easy. good to go. <laughs> I love the easy ones, I love it. So, should we get started? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna add our chicken first. So I'm using two chicken breasts, and this will serve about four. You can also add more chicken depending on how big your family Families. is or how many you're feeding, but Two chicken breasts for a family of four, and then we're going to add in just a can of chicken broth. Awesome. Okay, so to this, we're just gonna add a can of black beans. Now we rinsed and drained these yes. so you don't have the, the black, black and nasty. Make it nasty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then a can of tomatoes with green chilies in it. I love it. Green chilies I with do tomatoes. Too. Mm -hmm. The sweet ones. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add 11 ounces of corn. So this is a little bit smaller than most cans of corn, I feel like. So if you like corn, you can definitely upgrade and do a bigger size. And then to this, I'll just add two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Mm, yummy. So yummy. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna do the vegetable portion of yes. our fajitas. Okay, so we're gonna add just one green pepper all mm -hmm. chopped up. And I like, when, when I'm making fajitas, I like the strips. Like yes, that's I do too. my favorite thing. So then we're just gonna add yellow pepper and red pepper, and then just one onion yes. all sliced up. Okay, now for the seasoning. Yes. We kind of cheat with the seasoning. I know. But do you know what? But we're it's busy. It's so easy. I know. We don't have time to measure things out. We've got kids, right? <laughs> That's why I like this. <laughs> Dump, go, I can figure out. Okay, so just a package of fajita seasoning. Yes. Oh, I love it. Then you can add a little bit of salt and pepper too if you want. Yes. Ooh. pepper, some salt, about a teaspoon of salt yeah. or so. Then we have one clove of garlic, about one teaspoon. Yes. I like to use the jarred kind, it's yeah. just easy. Okay, uh -huh. then on top, we're just gonna add about a tablespoon of honey, yes. just to give it a little bit of sweetness in there. Okay, I'm not measuring, I just like honey, so I we're know. just gonna pour that on. The sweeter the better. Right, I agree with you. Okay, Okay. grab that lid. We're gonna put on this lid. Well, messed it. Okay. Okay, once the lid is on, you're gonna push the pressure cook or manual button, depending on what you have. And we have frozen chicken, so we need to go up to about 25 minutes um, because it is frozen. And they're big chicken breasts. Yes. Now, if they were smaller chicken breasts frozen, you can do it for 20, but we're gonna do 25. Yeah, also, if you have a little knob, don't forget to turn it to ceiling. Not, Not venting. <laughs> All right, once you hear the three little beeps, it'll say on, and then you can just walk away. All right, guys, now that it's all done cooking, you're either gonna turn the little knob to venting, or if you have one like mine, you can just push the little button. Ready? <laughs> all right, so once all the pressure's out, you can go ahead and lift up the lid. Oh, man. Mm. Looks so good. It smells, smells good. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have some our chicken in here, so we're just gonna shred up our chicken with our handy-dandy bear yes. claws. We love these things. I know, we do. Make it so easy. All right. I know I finally convinced my mother-in-law to get some, and my father-in-law texted me the other day, and he's like, you know what? I love the bear claws. I'm like, yes! <laughs> Told you you would. Converting them over I know, I'm converting to the bear claws. Converting them to my weird little corpse. <laughs> I like it. Okay, okay. get that last chicken breast. Okay. Ready. So I'll just mix around just a little bit, and then we're just gonna serve this on our tortillas. Now, so you might want to drain. drain the juice yes. a little bit, because there is a lot of liquid. Now, you don't have to put that much liquid. You can put even yes. just like a third of a cup. Um, but. We just had it's the whole juicy. can. It's juicy. It's good. Exactly. You don't like want that. dry food. <laughs> okay, so we'll do two of these, and then we like to top ours with some avocado as well. You can really any toppings that you yeah, put on your, your tacos toppings. or whatever would work great. But exactly. I love me some avocado. Right. 
Mm, I just love how it's just like fresh. It is. Fresh it's stuff. so fresh. It's fun. Okay, while you're doing that, I'll get my cheese and sour cream ready. Okay. Those are my favorite things on the tacos. Mm, yes. I love avocado too. Yeah. All right, then we'll just do a little bit of cheese. Or a lot of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My husband loves the smell. Mm -hmm. And then you can just do a dab of sour cream on top if you want to. Or spread it out. Whatever yeah, you whatever. want. He's a, he's a roller. Anyways, super simple, super easy. Dump and go, which is one of my favorite yes. kinds of recipes. But still fresh. Yes, still fresh. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Now, if you want more dump and go recipes, you can find them right over there. And we'll see you next week. Bye.